Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about empties as an empty obscures my view. Is that a word, obscure? I don't know. Um, we're gonna talk about empties today and what I'm using currently that have replaced them. Um, I don't know what's happening, but in between my brows is very dark. Looks like I got a unibrow going on. So I'm just taking some highlighter. Hi, welcome to my channel. Did that help? I don't know. There's like a weird line in between them. We'll go with that. Okay, hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about empty products. I have finished a lot of things recently and I'm on the tail end of a lot of things. And to be totally honest, as I always am, I wanna recycle and get the junk out of my dwelling because that's something that gives me anxiety. Hi, if you are new here, we often talk about anxiety, mental health, makeup, and everything in between. I have a ton of body lotions. None that I can say I really love. This is probably the worst out of all of them. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Body Lotion. I tried a really bomb in-shower CBD product for them. It was like an in-shower shower gel and I bought this moisturizer with it. This moisturizer was not it. It was really thick and like hard to rub into the skin and I didn't find it that hydrating so I would not purchase this again. Same kind of thing. I had this for a really long time. I don't think I'm going to purchase this. This does a decent job of moisturizing but it's such a thick moisturizer that it's hard to work into the skin and spread so I don't enjoy it. However, the way that it catches the light on your shins when there's a little leg out, sexy. For that reason, I might buy it alone but to hydrate not really. I bought this because I was really sick of buying the Aveeno moisturizer that I've been using for the last like 15 years. So I wanted to get something a little bit luxe. I don't know. I felt like spending money. You know, I felt like having a retail therapy moment. Just finished it. Body lotion by Moroccan oil. Lightweight hydration argan oil with aloe. Honestly, it smells nice. It smelled pretty potent. Oh, did you just see? That just got everywhere. It smells nice, but it's like a perfumey scent. So for that, I didn't love it just because I like to use a body mist after the shower as like my scent. So I like to smell like vanilla and ginger or sometimes I like to smell like roses. So personally, thanks to this, I have discovered that I like an unscented body lotion so that I can customize what scent I am, how I'm feeling that day with body mist. So that just didn't really give me the luxury of doing that. And honestly, I didn't find this to be super hydrating. Legs still were a little scaly. So I don't love this and I wouldn't buy this again. However, I'm really dying to try the Moroccan oil for your hair and I'm running out of hair oil. So I think I'm going to purchase that one. I think Amanda, my sister-in-law gave this to me from like a, a fit, fab fit fun. That's probably the only subscription box I've never subscribed to. I was a heavy Ipsy subscriber for a really long time and I love Ipsy, but it just got to the point where Ipsy and my moral compass didn't align. Like I'm trying to be more of a minimalist and getting new products every month. I was just hoarding things that I didn't need and I'm trying to promote sustainability. I think that that's a part of my journey. Like that makes me feel good when I talk about being sustainable, when I am sustainable, when I go through these empty products. Like it, it makes me feel good that I'm actually using things and not being wasteful. So I unsubscribed from Ipsy. Really long story short. And I feel like I've told this story like 20 times, but Amanda subscribes to FabFitFun, FabFitGlam. I don't know what it is, but I think it's like a quarterly box that you get, which is much better than monthly, in my opinion. Asian Tea Blossom Body Butter by, the, I guess, the brand Silk. This was really good. I would buy this again, and I really enjoyed it on my chest. It has a nostalgic scent to me, and I don't mean this offensively. And I've said this, that like, I enjoy a grandma scent. It just smells clean and crisp and like warm and like home. Like that's what this smells like and that makes that makes me think of my grandma and I, I don't know, the grandma scent doesn't upset me that much when people say, like when people say, oh, it smells like a grandma. Like I think that's a good thing. This was nice. I would buy this again. Let's talk about this, body scent. This was not worth it for me. Brazilian Crush by Rio de Janeiro. What's the company that makes the Boom Boom Cream? Sol de Janeiro. Oh my God, Rio de Janeiro, what's wrong with me? Anyway, Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian crush. You guys know I love the Boom Boom Cream. I'm also gonna mention the Boom Boom Cream in this video because I am literally, I think like tonight's gonna be the last night that I finish it. And this is the first time and I can't even tell you how many years that I finished the Boom Boom Cream and I don't have one hiding in the back of my closet somewhere. So sustainable, she's gotten there. 
but I wish that I had bought one and had it in back stock because I thought I was gonna move on from it, but I can't, I can't. It makes my butt feel so soft and it makes it look so smooth that nothing is really trumping it from all the things that I've tried. So I'm gonna buy a new one and I just enjoy it. I enjoy the experience overall. But because of that experience, I purchased this fragrance, body mist fragrance for after the shower. This, it smells like summer, but like, not an exciting summer to me. Like, I don't think this is worth the price. When I think of an exciting summer scent, I think of my Milani Make It Last facial spray. Like that smells like a summer I wanna be a part of. Which, while I'm mentioning that, I did finish a Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I have yet to find, okay, a couple things about this. Oh, and to replace this, I'm using some Sally Hansen scent. I'm pretty sure it's Sally Hansen, but it's like a vanilla ginger. It's so freaking good. I'll put a picture of it on the screen because I'm too lazy to go get it. My Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Listen, again, a couple things here. One, I would say that like a skincare facial mist might outweigh this even when applying my makeup. Like I kind of enjoy that, but it depends on the makeup. So if I'm going in with powder, like I'm not wearing a lot of powder today, but I'm wearing a decent amount of powder today and I would prefer the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Whereas if this was like a more of a my everyday makeup kind of look where it's a lot of creams and not a lot of powder, I would love to use something like a rose facial spray or my, what is the name of that spray that my brother just bought me for Christmas that is waiting for me to use it because I'm trying to finish up the facial spray that I'm using right now. That's how she's being sustainable. I'm trying to go through things before I open things up, but oh my God, what is it called? It's by the Lifestyle & Co, the Beach Mist Facial Spray. I would use that on like more of an everyday makeup look where I'm not wearing as much powder, but nothing has replaced this for me in the hydrating makeup spray department. But in the meantime, I've also finally fallen in love with a long lasting makeup setting spray because the Urban Decay All Night all nighter setting spray, whatever it's called, the one that everyone swears by. That one doesn't smell very nice to me. Like I don't enjoy the scent of that. Oh, if we're talking about her, Fruit Fetish, Make It Last. This is Mango Coconut by Milani. This smells, that smells like my kind of summer. Like that smells like, it smells like my dad kind of summer. So like that's the summer I enjoy. Whereas I did not enjoy this one. I don't know why this doesn't equate to the smell scent of summer for me, but I understand how it could because it's supposed to be. Pistachio caramel. It does have like a caramelly scent, but I don't know. I want my sister and my brother to smell this. I feel like they would say that this smells like a Bob summer. Like, I don't know. It smells like the beach. Like I have a drink in my hand and I have not a worry in the world other than where the sun is going so that I can rotate my chair. Like that's, that's the kind of summer I smell <laughs> when I spray this, which is nice and is nostalgic and I enjoy it. Skin care. To remove my makeup, I've always used my pharmacy green clean and I have another one in my closet waiting for me to use up when I'm done with what I'm currently using, but I'm right now using the Shiseido Oil Cleanser. I will put it down below and a picture of it on the screen and I'm really enjoying it. I think I like this better just because this has more of a slip to it, but I'm really enjoying the Shiseido one. I like that it's like a thicker, more gloopier product and it's a squeezy tube. I wish I had it. I'm not going to get it though. It's a squeezy tube. So I don't have to like poke in here and prod in here. Um, so I like the convenience and the packaging better of Shiseido, but I think product I like this more. Okay, I'm kind of excited to get rid of this. I don't know, mixed mixed feelings about my gal here. This is 111 Skin, Harley Street, London. This is their Cryo Preactive Toning Cleanser. I've been using this, this has been in the shower. I like it, but I feel like it leaves a weird texture to my skin. One that you can't see, but one that I can feel. Like kind of like bumpy, but I don't know, it's very hard. So I just replaced this with my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, which you guys know is like a holy grail love of mine. So I'm back onto that and we'll see if my skin changes. This got the makeup off nice. I feel like it was gentle on my skin, although I understand I'm giving you like mixed vibes right here, but I think my Soy Face Cleanser is way better. So I'm excited that I have that again. I finally came to an end with, she, she had a long run there, my friends, but this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer Sunscreen. I like it, it's nice. 
But like honestly, underneath makeup, Murad Perfecting Day Cream SPF 30 is way better. And I even think my Neutrogena Oil Free Facial SPF is better than this too. This was nice and I enjoyed it. I don't think I would come back to it because I think my next sunscreen that I'm gonna try is gonna be the Shiseido. Which one, I don't know. Maybe a combo of them all, but I'm gonna try that on my face. At this point in time, Murad is the best SPF sunscreen I've ever blessed my face with, so serums. I I have to say this is very hard for me still and between you and I, I steal Mike has a small sample of his that he like never uses. Like he has a lot of really nice skincare that he never uses and my beauty addict, the beauty addict inside of me is like I want this. Like because I want to try it and I want to know how it is and I would love it as, just as equally though if he used it and then told me what he thought about it but all of his nice skincare just sits there and rots so I've been using uh the sample that he has stored in the drawer in the bathroom when my skin absolutely needs it which hasn't been a lot but it's been a good like five times and I'm running out of the sample so I might just have to pull the trigger and buy this However, this is my buying dilemma inside of me. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I bought the big daddy size. This is like $150 and I got it on sale. This is 3.4 full ounces. I finally finished her and I'm gonna put the date on the screen of when I first introduced her to you. I think I've had this for like a year and a half. So I love her. This is just really nice for my skin when my skin just wants to be left alone. So at night, I'll literally wash my face, oil cleanse, if I was wearing makeup, I double cleanse. I'll just simply wash my face and then I will literally just douse my face with this. This will be my everything. My serum, my moisturizer, my eye cream. I just put this all over my face, down my chest, and I've been doing this new thing. Oh, I have a brush hair. Okay, anyway. If you thought I had a hairy chest, I might, but in that moment in time, I didn't. Yeah, I've been putting things all the way down to my nipples because I watch Andre Ali on YouTube and she said that her dermatologist friend puts everything from the, her forehead to her nipples. So that's what your girl has been doing. And we're gonna see how, I mean, I don't hate my chest, but I kind of want to keep it that way. It could be better also. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just good when my period comes and I'm just breaking out or my skin is just really sensitive. Like this is just my everything and anything. And I love, 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 love her. and. I have to buy a new one, but my dilemma is that if I'm gonna go in, I feel like I should go all the way in and buy the Big Daddy one. It's just like a lot, and I feel like I look at this and I'm like, that's a lot of commitment, but honestly, I use it all the time. But honestly, also though, I have so many serums that I'm trying to get through. Like right now, Mike bought me a La Mer treatment lotion, like forever ago, and I never used it. And I sound like a hypocrite now that I just said what I said about him. But now I'm like dousing my whole half body with it. Um, and I have other serums that I wanna try. So I just feel like if I buy this, I'm not gonna wanna try anything else. That is my dilemma, but I think I'm just gonna have to buy it. Maybe I'll wait until a sale though. Maybe it's not as immediate as I thought it was because I literally went to Sephora to buy this yesterday and the Sephora was packed and I felt highly claustrophobic and uncomfortable. So I left and I didn't buy a damn thing, which probably for the best. Okay, another serum. And then I'll tell you about the serum that I replace this with. So this has like, this is like the lineage of the serums. So I started with my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I finished that, that was in an empties. She's been gone for a while. However, I have one in my closet because my aunt bought it and she tried it and she didn't like it. She said that, she said she tried that and something else for the first time and her skin broke out and she didn't know which one it was. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't put this, that on my face. I mean, it's like a $6 serum, you know? Like I wouldn't put it on my face anyway, if I wasn't sure. Like if I had the inkling that something made me break out, I wouldn't use it. Like right now, I had a big breakout when I used the Sobel Skin RX 15% Niacinamide Serum and I hadn't used that in a long time and I used it for the first time the other day. I woke up and had a mini rash all over my face. So I don't know, I haven't tried it since. And that wasn't the other day, that was actually a really long time ago. I didn't know at the time if it was the serum or if because my dad like was really sick at the time and I was having like, I was on the verge of a breakdown. So I didn't know if that was what ruined my skin, but I haven't tried the serum since. So anyway, very long story short, my aunt gave me the Good Molecule Serum and I'm very, very excited to whip it out of the back stock in my skincare closet. Then I moved on to this once I finished that one, the Murad Hydration Sensitive Skin Soothing Serum. This is really nice if you have sensitive skin. Like this is a good, just like basic bitch everyday serum that will hydrate and lay nicely underneath your makeup. However, I like the Shiseido Ultimine one that I'm using now, I think better than this. 
the ultimate one I feel like it's just like doing something to my skin like I feel like my skin looks really good it's brightening I think it's tightening I think it's just doing all the things that it needs to do take it as it is I'm here to just deliver the facts not the decisions I can't tell you which one to buy um Actually, I can buy the Good Molecules one because it's $6 and I'm pretty sure the Ultimate one is really expensive. If you're balling on a budget, I would tell you to buy the Good Molecules one. If you are a lady of luxury and you don't care, I would say buy them both. Try them both. All right, scents. Gucci, Memoir, I don't know. This is really nice. And I really like the spray because it's very misty and the, the you just, you don't even have to press that hard. It just comes right out. So I would definitely buy her again. So take note, self, buy this again. You liked this perfume. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy Rose by Le Labo. I'm running out of perfumes too. So this is perfect. <gasps> Actually, let me go get the other perfumes that I'm low on so that when I'm done with them, I can just recycle them and I don't have to hoard them for months to make this video, you know? Gucci Bamboo, I also really like this scent. It's sexier. It's like a vacation scent. That's where this brings me. Oh, this has me, not in Italy. This has me in Italy, the poppy. We're gonna get there though. Poppy, poppy brings me to Italy. I can't remember where I am. With Mike on vacation somewhere warm. That's this, sexual, delicious. Would I buy it again? Maybe, but I think there's other perfumes out there that I love more, like the ones I just mentioned that I'm gonna repurchase than this, but it smells pretty good. Okay, Italia, take me there. This brings me back to my honeymoon. Jo Malone, Poppy, and Barley Cologne. I'm probably just gonna have to buy this for nostalgic reasons. Yeah, but that's really just like, I wish they'd work one more time. That's where this takes me. I like this, it's cute, it's travel size. I like a travel size with a spray. I'm not a big, I know the Gucci Bamboo was a roller. I'm not a big roller gal. I like a spray, I don't know, I don't know. I just do like Mike just gave me this oil perfume that's literally in a box it's in an oil carton I'll show you guys and you dab your finger in it and then you dab it on your neck or wherever you're putting it I'm not I like the experience of a mist personally I do I like the experience of a mist I got this huge knot in my hair come on pain pain and agony and sadness as I rip my hair out perfumes that I'm running really low on that I'm almost down and out on this might even be done Mew Mew, no. This is like my summer scent. And this brings me back to like when I just started making money. And I actually went to get the Valentino scent. I forgot what it is because I received a tester of that and I'll never forget. Mike always does me dirty with my scents. It just, it's something that he's better at than I am, which I appreciate because he smells really nice all the time. And I feel like I get to enjoy it. Whereas opposed to, I kind of feel bad for him that he doesn't get to enjoy the lovely scent of me because I'm just not a lovely scented lady. Although these perfumes are great that I'm talking about. I'm not gonna lie. I tried this Valentino one. I, I forgot what it was called, but it was like really warm smelling. And I brought it on vacation and Mike said that it smelled nice on me. I think we were in, no, it wasn't Puerto Rico. Mexico maybe? No, was it the Bahamas? I don't know, we were somewhere warm and I wore it and he didn't like it. And when I went to go buy the Valentino one that he didn't like, I also bought this one because the lady, just the saleswoman really convinced me. And I was like, screw it, I have money now. Well, more money than I ever had. Let me buy some perfume. I also had a coupon, so. Hey, hey, and these things are never on sale. So a sale is a sale is a sale, my friend. But I also bought this one and he really liked this one. It's a really light summery scent. Like it kind of smells like an ocean breeze. I don't know, it's nice. Mew Mew Parfum. Mike bought this for me, which is my strictly occasion perfume that I've had for a really long time because I've kept her as simply on um, special occasions, but this is the Twilly Dare, Twilly, Twilly Dare Hermes. Twilly de Hermes. She smells like a sophisticated lady. Okay, makeup, I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot. <sighs> Lancome Lashy Doll, I opened another one. I've gone through so many tubes of this at this point. I think this is like the fourth tube that I've gone through. And again, I told y'all the story about how it was really big on TikTok. It blew up on TikTok. And I thought to myself, nothing can really be that amazing. Like, let's be real here. And it was really that amazing. And I feel like I like her even more because she proved me wrong. But let me tell you something. I recently opened Benefit Bag Yell Bang. I received a trial size one, so a mini baby one. And I don't know. That's the mascara that I'm wearing today. 
I put this on the bottom. This one's on the bottom, but the Bad Gal Bang, like I forgot how good it is. Like the my lashes look really nice. They look really nice. Um, so I don't know which one I like better, TBD. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video for you guys. Let me write it down. What did I even just say? See, this is why I need to write it down. It's like a natural lash. If you're a lash lady or a lash guy that likes chunky, false looking lashes. <gasps> I didn't put any of my rings on. Damn it. Okay, anyway, and I just got a new ring. If you like false lashes or thick, chunky lashes, it's more of a natural lash. It gives a very similar look to Bad Gal Bang. It's just like separated, long, wispy, ethereal. That's the kind of vibe that I like with my lashes, personally. I liked this for all about a month and then she dried up and it was absolutely terrible. Lancome Denafi Seals Waterproof. I have no idea if I'm saying it right, but I, I say it like I'm saying it right every time. I think that's half the battle, that's half the trick. I really like the packaging. I like how skinny it is. I like the Lancome gold, what's it called? Flower there. I like I like the branding, I like the packaging. I like that it's black and gold. I love black and gold. But what happened? Now she came back to life? I'm so confused. Honestly, I didn't even like finish this, guys. It was just a mess. Like, look how much product is on it. Oh, it just got everywhere. Okay. When I tell you that I put this on my lashes like a month ago and then it flaked all over my face, it was like there was no mascara in here. Now it's like back with a vengeance and it's like, you will like me. Scary. Me and the mascara. Now we have a problem. I can't put this back in. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna close her and be rid of her and talk about my very last product. I'm buying this again. I thought that I bought this again, but I didn't. Koki Cosmetics Lip Liner in 522 Dusty Rose. I can't even swatch this for you because I, I used all of her. There's, there's nothing left of her. But retractable pencil, drugstore, amazing. This is the most beautiful, sexy color. It's beautiful for every day. And I love her and I'll insert a clip of me putting it on here because I clearly used all of her so I got a lot of content with her in it. But I went to the drugstore and I did buy a Koki Lip Liner and I think I bought the shade Warm Nude. I haven't opened her yet because, let me tell you something though, if it was the Dusty Rose shade, I would have opened it and it would have been on my lips and we would have been three quarters of the way done with the new tube, but I didn't buy the right shade and so I'm holding out for something. I'm really holding out to go through some other lip liner shades, but I gotta be honest, in this sustainability journey, I think it's been nice because I've literally gotten through a lot of products through the past throughout the past year, but I'm like craving new things now. Like mama's hungry for new makeup. I want new lips, I want new lip liner, I want new everything. I'm not gonna get it though. I'm gonna finish the things that I have because that's me being selfish and unnecessary and wasteful. Bitch, I'm talking to you. Guys, this is it. These are all of my empties, all the things that I replaced them with and where I'm currently at on my makeup product journey. If you enjoyed this, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and also click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Let me know any products that you recently have finished, a product that you buy all the time. I wanna hear all about your empties, your repurchases, your must haves. So yeah. I'm all ears and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to say something. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.